<laughs> All right, guys, looks like what is this? Rahul here, a uh, Pokemon content creator, big, huge guy. I think he's like 6'3. Guy's huge, and he's playing against I'm not sure who Matthew Ro Roberry. It's like an avid player here. Okay, so what is Rahul going to do here? He's going to be playing a deck. I, I've, I don't think he's ever been on stream before. Correct me if I'm wrong. I do not think he's ever been on stream before. Okay, let's see what he wants to do here. I'm going to shuffle the deck. Already got something. Set up. Rahul's in a good mood here, his opponent is happy as well. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun game, looks like. I don't know what dad jokes they're they're telling each other. See a rare candy there. There's the Gardevoir. Let's see if we can get set up early game with Rahul. I'm gonna be chasing that. Nice clean, couple of rolls down, maybe. Oof. Another no Pokemon start for Matthew. What kind of deck is he running here? Does it have any Pokemon left in it? He's gonna jump through this quickly. Still shuffling. Okay, let's see if we can find any Pokemon here. <laughs> third. <laughs> nah, third shuffle. Yeah, y'all must be joking here. Three cards for Rahul. There's the Roaring Moon. Finally. Three cards? Man, if I was Roaring Moon right now, I'd be shaking. I'd be like, damn. This is not gonna be okay. It's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. Uh, nothing special really prized. Oh, a bunch of uh, blue energy, so we're not going to be able to use the Radiant Greninja. I don't know if that's going to hurt him in any way. Don't think Roaring Moon really goes for the Radiant Greninja. It's more for the concealed cards. Not for the attack. Rahul's starting off with strong with the Battle VIP. I mean, he did draw, what, three or four extra cards? It's going to be set up really well here. Getting everything he needs probably, which is insane. Counting right now how much energy he has. Cresselia's in the middle, sitting in active right now. Easy, easy pull out. But it's nice to see that he's probably running one of those Screamtail decks. Okay, Cresselia passed. That's it? Battle VIP? From all the cards you drew... You just battle VIP'd? Guess he didn't draw any other level balls or anything else. Let's see how Roaring Moon is going to start. He does have that battle VIP in his hand. It's going to be a better start for him. Hmm. What is he looking for here? Galarian Moltres is going to be the drop. We need, we need like a lot of pieces. We need a lot of pieces right now. I, I, you might even look for Squawk. Squawk is in hand. This makes sense. We're not going to need the Squawk right now. There's more Pico. So we're not going to go for the Mew? Interesting. Town store down. Looking for the Ancient Capsule pro potentially. Thinning out the deck before he starts. Um... Squawking. Oh no, he went for the four steel stone. Okay, okay, that's true, that's true, that's early game. Four steel stone is gonna be big here. We actually could get a KO on this Cresselia. Pretty, pretty easy. Four steel stone can fi find us energy switch. Can also find the Sada if we need it. Well, let's see. We'll try. We'll try Squawk first. Okay, we are gonna Pokemon catcher. Let's see if we hit heads. Heads. Ralts comes forwards. Big deal, I think. It's gonna slow down Rahul heavy. 
Damn, Matthew, big, big hit there, in my opinion. We're going to just squawk, yeah, because Dark Patch, you cannot use it. We're just going to squawk. Away this hand. And then draw six more cards a little bit better. It looks like we did draw into the Sada. There's the Galarian Ultras. I don't think we have any more energy, though. So Sada is not going to be useful. Energy switch to the Morpico. Switch card. And now we need one more energy attachment. How do we get there? Oh, we could professors. We could just professors here. And get that final attachment. Okay, we did lose basically three dark patches now. This is this is big. Now we start counting how many dark patches we lost. Two sodas are gone. No, that's professors. One professor, one soda, and two dark patches are gone. Morpico kits the KO. Pretty safe there. Nice play. Nice play. Keep keeping the roaring moon back. Don't really lose much there. Pretty nice play there. Now Rahul is on a timer. Roaring Moon puts you on a timer so quickly because its setups are so consistent. Now I am surprised Matthew weren't, it wasn't able to drop any more energies. He didn't draw any energies. He just drew his dark patches, unfortunately. I'm sure he wanted to drop more. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes here. Rahul draws <clears throat> his uh, Mirage step, which is a perfect turn, exactly what he needs, especially after losing that Ralts. Not needing another Ralts now, just keeping that Ralts for the Gardevoir EX. This is going to feel really good. Now he has all the refinement he needs. Okay, so a really good turn for Rahul, even though he's on a timer. He's a one prizer deck, so Roaring Moon is going to struggle going against this. It's actually, I believe, in my opinion, is a bad matchup for... Uh, Matthew here, Roaring Moon does not like chasing one prizers, but you don't even want to keep the Gardevoir EX in the game. So Rahul's gonna have to depend on pulling that Gardevoir EX out every time he plays it, but he still wants to play it down. Sorry guys, the camera went down. Let's see what Matthew is gonna be able to pull off here. Throws an Ultra Ball energy and with the Ultra Ball, he throws out the energy. Throws out two energy. I think that's the right choice here. Interesting. Just throw that. What is that? An energy switch? Just an old school energy switch? Okay. I think that's uh, fine. I guess he's uh, figured out that Dark Patch is not going to be really helpful anymore. So might as well just start attaching manually, one by one, card by card. Let's see how Matthew's going to deal with this deck. I don't know if he just wants to attack with Roaring Moons right now. Potentially maybe start uh, being, uh, make Galarian Moltres your attacking uh, Pokemon. Also, you could just make Roaring Moon really big and just Calamity Stadium every turn. Could still help. You can make him big with the Ancient uh, Capsule. I think I think Roaring Moon is going to be fine here. Rahul's going to really have to get rid of these Gardevoir EXs every time they're played. But if he, if he does then Rahul is actually going to be in a really good spot. Like, as you can see, R Matthew really has to save his uh, Roaring Moons because he, he does not want them to die. He cannot have them dying here. He cannot have them hit take any damage. So he's saving them, putting them back. Okay, there's the Guard Vor. Fuck, Krista, looking for an energy to f push it. No, look for a Ralts. Interesting. Still looking to set up. Still looking to set up. Didn't even put, pick up a Psychic. Uh, for some reason, still setting up board. Okay, let's see. He does have a lot of refinements here, guys. Does have a lot of refinements. Three refinements to be exact. Let's go first one. There's the energy out. Okay, we can throw out the second energy. Now we have three energies. It's not a lot. We do have that um, reversal energy though. So we're going to be hitting good numbers. Easy, easy. Um, we're going to throw out the battle VIP. 
because we don't have any more energies and potentially shining arcana right now there it is we're gonna get an attachment here we could also not attach so we'll see what we want to do Okay, Rahul is actually getting really, really nice setup. There's the reversal energy. I think we're going to get a squawk in here. It's going to be really good for Rahul. Starting the chase. Didn't even put a guard for EX on board. So staying safe is going to feel really nice, guys, for him. It's going to feel really nice for him. Okay, Gardevoir gets the KO on that squawk. Really, really good. Oh my god, I did not expect that. I did not expect him to be able to set up that Gardevoir without the need of the Gardevoir EX. Let's see if the Roaring Moon can punish this. I, I really don't see how you can. I mean, if I just keep one prizers on board, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it as a Roaring Moon? Your whole deck is two prizers, and now you don't have... Any way to outpace me because I just outpace you. I, I, even if I two shot every turn, two shot to get, get KOs, I'm still doing better than you. If all I have is one prizers. Now, if it takes me more than two shots to K KOs, then I'm falling behind. But but this is this is such tough position here for Matthew. Matthew, this is uh, a deck that really counters him really heavy. Let's see. We have trekking shoes. Let's see what we want to get with this. Dark patches are probably all gone. <coughs> Not sure what, what our target is going to be here. We're going to get this KO with Calamity Storm potentially. So we're going to lose that poke stop. I think we should. what we should do is we should find a way to start uh, funneling all our energies to the Galarian Moltres. So we need a way to drop more energies in the trash. I think we run at 9 energies. There it is. Throwing out the pal pad. That's bad because we got a battle VIP instead. Now we're going to use... Uh, Pokestop, picking up an earthen vessel, throw that trash, Bell VIP. Now we got the energy we're looking for. Good plays there. Matthew is able to somehow cycle through his deck to throw the energy he needs now for the Galarian Moltres. Galarian Moltres can be an attacker now. Galarian Moltres, ugh, this is the problem with, with Galarian Moltres is actually susceptible to the Gardevoir. Gardevoir needs what? After Galarian Moltres attacks once. Gardevoir needs, what, 190? That's actually really simple. I think that's four energies. Matthew's going to have to figure out a way to get these KOs while staying safe. I guess he just gives up on the Moltres. Uh, potential Calamity Storm is going to get him the KO. Okay, well, Rahul, really, how many Gardevoirs is he running? Probably only two. So if we can get all three Gardevoirs out of the game... Should be in a good position, potentially, for Matthew. Let's see how Rahul responds. Oh my god, there's a Zacian V. So now there might be a reason to go into Gardevoir EX. To get this KO. Easy KO on the Roaring Moon. If we get this KO on the Roaring Moon, I think we win game as Rahul. Because at that point, he cannot KO the Zacian I think you go for the Gardevoir EX Zation. This is not going to hurt you at all if you do that. You're not hurt. You could also try to steal the Squawk. So maybe you don't want a Zation. Maybe you could set up another Gardevoir and just uh, get, a, get a KO on the Mew. Sorry, not the Squawk, the Mew. Could do that. But what the, the goal is, I think you can end game with a Gardevoir EX Zation. Because if you play Gardevoir EX and Zation together, he's going to kill the Gardevoir EX. He's going to boss it in. And then Zacian just stays on board and can KO the Roaring Moon next turn. Right now, Rahul, if he gets this Zacian set up, that's game. He just has to play the Zacian down, that's it. And, 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 and move it forward. And this is really, really simple. This is really, really simple. There's the Shiny Arcana. Alright, just play the Zacian down. I think that's it. I think you just play down the Zacian. He's eyeing the Zacian. 
I think once we play the Zacian down, that's it. Now, Gardevoir EX is not the target for Matthew. It's going to be the Zacian. And then Gardevoir EX can just power up the second Gardevoir and just get the W here. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty much done. Zacian has every piece he needs. Such a bad matchup for Matthew there. There is the head nod from Matthew. Almost signaling that I cannot answer this. Matthew drops down his hand. Ready for his fate. Wait, what? We're just gonna talk with Gardevoir? Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. But we're gonna have to find Gust then. We're gonna have to find Gust. The way he played it, he's gonna need to find Gust. If he forced the Zacian V to attack, at least... Actually, he might lose game here. What just happened? Oh, he, he used Turo to pick up the Gardevoir, save it. And then I think I think I think Rahul made a big mistake here. Because Matthew can just Can Matthew keep this Gardevoir out of play out, out of the game? Like can he just keep it out of the game? I don't know, man. Can he do it? I mean, honestly, if Matthew just uh, puts more Pico forwards, Rahul's going to have to find Gust. If he can't find Gust, he, does, he cannot win game. So I think the play here is we move more, more Pico forwards, get this KO. Yeah, good, good, good Gust here. Good Iono here. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really hurt Kerala's that badly. I mean, he does lose the Gardevoir EX, though. That is true. Trekking shoes. Oof, Pokemon catcher. Yo, that, not right now, but later. No, nah, it's not really going to help. Galeri Moltres activates. Morpika is going to get the KO here, but then what? Then Rahul needs to refinement his way back into the game. But the refinement doesn't actually get him back into the game. Now, the only good thing about Rahul is he has all the energies he needs in the discard pile. So he just needs to shuffle his deck so he can draw with refinement. See if he finds a way to shuffle the deck. Yeah, there's Fog Crystal. He can shuffle the deck here and then draw with refinement to get the key pieces he needs. He needs a rare candy and a Gardevoir and a Gardevoir EX. This is going to be tough. Okay, there's the Gardevoir, Kirilla, and a Ralts. Interesting. He's gonna shuffle the deck. Finds the Ralts. Not sure how helpful that's gonna be right now. I don't know what this is for. I think he's thinking I cannot get to if I don't get to Gardevoir EX right now, I can get to it next turn. And if he KFs one of my Ralts, I can still get to it. I guess that's what he's thinking about. There's a refinement man if he's gone and Iono in hand, actually really not, oh, not really great, not really great. Refinements the Iono out of his hand, draws two, <sighs> counter catcher here. Oh my god, one more refinement. Damn, okay, we have Gardevoir. We have Gardevoir. <gasps> Wait, what? Rahul, you have Gardevoir. You have Ultra Ball. See, this is why we should attack with the Zacian V. That way you didn't even need to get rid of your Gardevoir EX. You could have kept it in the bo on board. That way he needed to get rid of the Zacian V. Or the guard for EX, but it doesn't matter. He loses game either one. That's why we should have went for the Zacian V, I believe, in my opinion here. I think we lose game here as Matthew V picks up. Uh, well, he can't boss anymore. Well, damn. Matthew also whiffed the ending of his game plan here. Counter catcher doesn't save him. Matthew whiffed as well. He didn't have game ending play there. He just needed the gust. There's the escape rope. 
No, it's not enough. There's Matthew's head scratch. Damn it, it's just not enough. Damn it, guys. Contra Catcher doesn't save you. Rahul, you need to get this Zacian V to attack next turn. Matthew needs to keep this Morbico on active right now. And hope to God he draws into his boss. That's it. That's all he has to wait. Or wait for one more Morbico to, go, to die. And then you go to hope to, for a counter catcher with your pokies. That, uh, pokey stop. That's really it. Man, they spent a lot of time on this first game. Okay. Dark patch there doesn't help in any way. Not really. And you switch so more people can get a KO. Oh, this is really good actually. Yo, getting a KO on Morpico is actually really good. But it does move Zation V forwards. Really, right now, all Rahul needs to do is get a God of War EX, which I think he has Ultra Ball for it. And then he needs to also get a boss. He needs a boss somehow. I don't know if he doesn't have any more bosses. I know Gardevoir decks only run one boss. There's a Gardevoir. There's the boss! There's the boss, he has it. He just needs Gardevoir EX, which he's about to do right now. Pulling out the Gardevoir EX. He's got it, he's got it, he's got game, guys. He pulled it, he pulled it. Damn, tough, tough, tough. Rahul went to the last bit. Absolutely amazing. Let's keep pushing. Keep pushing. Wow, wow. Really nice. Really, really proud with Rahul. <coughs> Matthew pretty much gave him a really amazing start. Alright, let's look at the prizes here. Ayono, Jirachi. Not a big deal. There's Dark Patch gone. And a Sada. And a second Dark Patch. <sighs> Huge on Matthew's side. Huge. Oh, oh, Rahul loses reversal energy as well. What is happening? Is it showing? Is he looking at his hand? Wh what's happening? I'm not sure. I'm gonna listen up here real quickly. Um, as we do have both pleasures. Double checking where everything as we do see what is going on alongside you guys. So they don't even know, bro. Let's see here. Uh, I wonder what's happening. Maybe they're talking about who's going first. I'm not sure. Maybe they didn't decide who's going first before they draw his hand. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Charlie Arcana. Like you said there was a that Cars where he was refining, yeah. boards just limited. But it'd be great to see Gardy being piloted by obviously a very good player. Yeah. Oh. Maybe there's an opportunity uh, in this game but we'll, as we get back to the action soon. Yeah, very, a very nocturnal nighttime theme match. Get this out. Oh, <laughs> again, please. Uh, in your oh. G is there. Truro is also there. Not sure what there. happened. They're not going to tell action. us, though. I don't know why I expected them to actually explain what's happening. All right, Matthew started the game off really badly. Two dark patches in the prize is not ideal, obviously. Let's see what Rahul wants to do. St strong start from Rahul. Battle VIP looking through his whole deck. Looking at the pieces he's going to be needing to finish off a big turn. Whoa, actually raiding Greninja is a good idea here. Got the energy, might as well toss him down with the Greninja. And you get two cards. That's actually going to be really good. But does Rahul, yeah, okay, yeah, so he does, he's okay with sacrificing one spot for a Green Ninja. Yeah, that's fine, early game, I think. I don't know how he's going to get rid of the Green Ninja later. Maybe he doesn't need that spot. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I saw that Matthew was very slow in his uh, approach. I mean, he did get 1k KO per turn, but still Rahul just had a full field no matter what, every turn. So maybe Matthews is just going to be the same here. So maybe that Radiant Ranger is going to hurt him. I know that Radiant Ranger was not there the whole game earlier, last game. So we'll see how this goes. 
Rahul just passes with the concealed cards. Feeling strong here. Nice start. I mean, Ralts really is looking only for a couple of Ralts. Once you get to the Mirage step, you got a nice setup out. See, this is what I'm talking about now. Uh, Greninja took one of the spots for the Kerala's. Now you can only get two Kerala's out. Unless you want to put them on one of your Ralts. Actually, you cannot put them on one of your Ralts. Can you put them on one of your Ralts? We'll see. I think you can, yeah. But still, Radiant Greninja took that spot. Let's see how Matthew's going to be playing here. Got the energy. Got a lot of energies in his hand. He's going to be able to toss them all out. Of course, with more energy tossed out, it's going to make him play the game a little bit more smoothly. Especially early game here. He might be able to get this KO on the Ralts. Seeing his hand, I saw Sada, so he's and he is going second right now, so he is going to be able to do some great shenanigans here. Matthew shuffling, 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 shuffling. Okay, Matthew, can you get that Sada out? Do we Sada right now? Wait, 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 we actually need the Roaring Moon first. Of course, wait, what's happening right now? We cannot Sada, is that what you're telling me? Oh my god. What's Sada gonna do? Oh no, that's just a professor's research. Oh, these are not Sadas, these are researches. They just look like Sadas. Okay, never mind. Got the four seal stone. Can find anything we want. We could find what a switch card? <laughs> or a VIP pass? Yeah, VIP pass can help here. I think we're gonna need that VIP. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need that VIP pass, and that's what was gonna get us set up. He's eyeing VIP or switch card. I think it's VIP, guys. I, I don't, I don't think you can get that VIP pass anymore. You need that VIP. You need those Roaring Moons down. Yo, he actually has switch card. Okay, he wants to get that first KO. Yeah, he really wants that first KO. Okay. Okay, so let's see if he can actually get any Roaring Moons down. Because he wants the Roaring Moon. Maybe he'll just attack with the Galarian Moltres. That's also a good idea against this deck. It's really not a big deal. Could still be Galarian Moltres attacker. Okay, Raging Greninja. Okay, he's going to have to draw the... Oh, never mind. He doesn't draw into anything. He just puts them on the Moltres. So Moltres gets to attack next turn as well. No Dark Patches still for Matthew. Oh, he's going to be... Well, it was a good idea for him to choose Galarian Moltres as his attacker. That's the least I'm going to say. Already we're in Gardevoir mode. Matthew is smart here, getting that Ralt out of the game, slowing down the opponent. But does this actually hurt us? Because now we could just go for Mirage Step, Kerala, and the Ra Radiant Greninja does not even fill up his board anymore. And that's really it. That's all Rahul is going to do. He's going to go for the three Kerala. So Radiant Greninja doesn't hurt us anymore. Damn, we are set up. If I'm Rahul right now, I'm happy. I got five refinements on board right now. Five refinements. It's crazy. That's crazy. Rahul has five refinements on board right now, guys. Oh my god. That's how strong Gardevoir is, man. He's going to be able to draw... Man, 15 cards next turn, potentially. Four... 10 for sure, 12 possibly, potentially 15. That's a lot of cards you can draw next turn. Dang, this is amazing. Let's see what Matthew wants to do here. <laughs> I'm sure Matthew's like shaking right now. He's like, God damn it, what the hell is this? You got five refinements against me. Okay, let's see. Uh, Iono. <laughs> ah, damn it, guys. What do you do as Matthew here? This is actually a really tough matchup for you. Even though this is your weakness, you're hitting the spot against them. Morpico needs to be, you need to basically play two Morpicos. That's the only way you can play this matchup. Mor Morpico has to be your main attacker and you just Morpico. You Morpico your way out of this because there's nothing else you can do. You cannot play with the Roaring Moons. Fortunately, the Galarian Moltres is going to die here. Matthew's just trying to catch up on the chase here. He has to be taking... He has to keep taking prizes because Rahul can take two prizes per turn, whereas he only takes one prize per turn. 
So he has to keep taking prizes no matter what. Now, one, one good thing Matthew did was he got rid of that Ralts. So he didn't allow... Or the Kirillas. So now we're forced to... Wait a minute. I'm not sure what just happened. Didn't he lose that Kirilla? Why is that Kirilla the Mirage step Kirilla? Hmm. Maybe... Matthew, did Matthew boss in one of the refinement Kerala? Is that what Matthew did last turn? I actually missed this. He bossed? Yeah, because he didn't have Iono. Instead he bossed. Yeah, he bossed. Oh, I missed that. I missed that play. I missed that play. Good play because we had five refinements against us, bro. Glad Matthew saw that. There's the fog crystal. Just tossing out a psychic energy. Rahul is going to start engaging now. Now, Matthew is smart. He only left one prizers on board after this Galarian Moltres. But without the Galarian Moltres, it's going to be really hard to get your Roaring Moon engaged. Matthew does have that dark patch though. Maybe it's going to be beneficial for us to lose Galarian Moltres. We want all those energies. Now the problem is Galarian Moltres can get... Oh, well, he can't attack really next turn. No, Galarian, Galarian Moltres can attack. All he does is he does 30 damage on himself. So he can't attack. There's the Gardevoir EX in the middle of the board. What the hell is it doing in the active zone? I guess we don't want to lose those re refinements. There's the Moonlit Hill. I think he heals 30 once per turn. For seal stones gone, doesn't matter. Just just the not hand basically. Doesn't want to see that lost vacuum again potentially. That's why. But I think lost vacuum is actually valuable. Uh, I mean, I guess not in, uh, not for Rahul. Rahul doesn't care. He can just one shot anything. There's refinement again. Okay, we started the push up here. Oh no, no, never mind, never mind, guys. He's just uh, mo moving his Pokemon a little bit. Okay, that's four energy. Yeah, th uh, that is a KO, right? That's 30, no, 30. That's 120, 120 plus 30, that's 150. Does he heal? Okay, that's the final card. Yep, he needed that one last one. And there's the KO. Okay, Rahul is now, in my opinion, 100% engaged, 100% ahead in this game. Rahul has everything he needs. Yeah, you don't even really want to lose. Honestly, Gardevoir EX being on board is a little bit threat threatening for Rahul. Because he's probably going to do that. And then he's probably going to go for the Zacian V. So this really sucks that Matthew did not have a Roaring Moon set up here. Because he could have went for a Gust again with the Pokemon Catcher if, he activate, if it worked. He could have got that KO on the Gardevoir EX, and then it would have slowed down Rahul heavy. Would have forced him to play the whole game with the Gardevoir, and Gardevoir dies in one turn. Of course, Rahul could have, he has a bunch of refinements. It's really easy for him to super find super rods, find quick balls, or sorry, ultra balls. It's really not the biggest deal, I think. But still, like, that was Matthew's out, I think. He has no more outs. There's the jelly... We're not going to need to use the jelly because we could just Calamity Storm everything now. Staying safe, man. This is unfortunate. Let's see how it works. Fails. And one card in hand. Giving it to the Roaring Moon and pass. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are we doing here? Well, I guess... Uh, oh... Well, yeah, that's true. Morpico is going to attack. No, the problem is you would have to, you would need a dark patch and an energy switch. It's almost impossible for Morpika to attack. It's almost impossible. Okay, Pokestop trekking shoes actually might <laughs> do something. What's the draw here? Tosses out the energy switch. Oh my god, he got energy switch dark patch! <gasps> Yo, he actually that's exactly what he needed. That's crazy! He actually should have trusted. Yo, he actually could have activated the Morpico. If he just attached him to the Morpico. Now he cannot activate Morpico. 
It's not a big deal. I, I actually, it's a big deal. He could have gotten a safe KO. Now he cannot do anything. He just lost the turn. Big deal. Big deal. We should have just trusted. We should have trusted. We should have understood that all we need is the dark patch and an energy switch. I mean, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's a lot. So it makes sense. Didn't go for it. Okay, limited removal. Okay, so um, I think Matthew is seeing the skylight right now. He's uh, kind of in shambles here. The deck is just not working exactly like he wants it to. And he's not in a favorable matchup, to be honest. The Guard Vol 1 Prizer is not giving him enough fodder to attack into to get himself ahead. He just can never get himself ahead against Rahul, ever, ever. Rahul can just fill up his whole hand all over again, no matter what Ayono, no matter what Roxanne you throw at him, no matter what you throw at him, he can fill up this hand. Man, Gardevoir is actually a huge contender, guys, in this series. That's going to be one of the best decks in the game, I think. That's just too big. No wonder it's almost winning tournaments so easily. Not easily, I mean, but like, it's consistent. It's pretty consistent. He's got a tough matchup against Lost Zone, though. Okay, Roaring Moon is gone. I think we lose game here. Matthew's drawing. As you see, Rahul's just getting two prizers. Matthew, Mac, best he could do is get one prizer per turn. We're behind, guys. Damn it, Matthew tried. Rahul's gonna do it, I think. Rahul already has been on it this season. Going to so many regionals. We've seen him so many regionals. Performing at the highest level. Good job, Rahul. Finally found a good deck there. Hopefully he has good luck with this deck. He takes it the whole way. I think Matthew is just not going to be able to do it. Rahul speeding up the game so he doesn't get tied. Ensuring that he's in a pretty good position so he doesn't want to lose to the tie. Of course, Matthew can slow down. <laughs> It's going to be a little bit harder, hard for Matthew to slow down his game that hard. What was that? How did he move that? Did he have energy switch? I don't see an energy switch. Damn it. Sorry, I didn't see my uh, camera there dying. Okay, I think Matthew's uh, got this. Uh, sorry, got this L. <laughs> Mew's just going to get gusted in any moment he wants it. Yeah, we're just looking for Gust here. There's a refinement. We also have a... No, we can't... Professors, we're looking for Gust. Do we even have Gust? I don't see it. I don't see a Gust, guys. Let's see if we can find the Gust. He needs the Gust. Thinning out the deck a little bit. Before his last refinement. Oh, no more, no gusts. No gusts. We, do, we don't have gusts. We're going to have to one, one shot. The Morpico. Why would you, why would you put any energies on that? Gardevoir EX. I don't think you need any energies. Already getting a KO on the Morpico. Unless you got the Mew somehow, he cannot get the Mew. Counter Catcher does not get you Mew. It's not f enough. Super Rod in. Not sure why he hurt himself in any way. I don't, I don't know what the idea of that. I guess he's still safe. Oh, I think he's just gonna retreat here? Yeah, he's just gonna retreat. No, he's just going to attack. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. Uh, amazing setup. Matthew, what are you going to draw? Dark patch. That's not bad. Uh, Not enough. Just not enough, guys. Just not. Too many pieces. We're going to need too many pieces. Wait, what is that? He threw his dark patch? He really threw his dark patch? That's crazy. He threw his dark patch. 
Bro, Rahul, Rahul has been on one this season, bro. He's been in almost every single regional, no matter no matter where you go. Canada, Canada. I think he's gonna go to the Vancouver one. He's been everywhere. I've seen him in a lot of streams. Matthew, you're not gonna. I mean, Matthew needs so many pieces here. Matthew, let's see if this ha hits. It's gonna help. She's just so far behind. Matthew, just so far behind. I mean, honestly, a handshake here <laughs> is all it's, she needs to say. But Matthew, yeah, there it is. Shake and a pass. GG. Nice job, Rahul. Good game. Nice. Uh, third round, only third round in the Rotmond. Uh, 